In this video, we will talk about the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. A factor is a number that divides another number evenly. For example, if we have number 12, then all the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. This means that we can divide 12 by any of these numbers. Now, let's write all the factors of 18. These are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now, notice that some of the factors are the same for both 12 and 18. These are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Out of all these factors, the largest one is 6, and we call it the greatest common factor. Then we can write that the greatest common factor is 6. This is one method of finding the greatest common factor, but another method is using prime factorization. So, let's see how we can find the greatest common factor of 12 and 18 using prime factorization. First, we will find the prime factorization for 12. We will start by dividing 12 by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And both 2 and 3 are prime numbers. Then, the prime factorization for 12 is 2 squared times 3. If you need more practice on the prime factorization, please watch one of my previous videos. Now, let's find the prime factorization for 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then, the prime factorization for 18 is 2 times 3 squared. Now, let's form the greatest common factor. For this, we will write a product of the factors that we see in both factorizations. These factors are 2 and 3, because they are in both factorizations. So, let's bring down 2 and 3, and now let's talk about the exponents. We need to bring down each factor with the smallest exponent. Let's take a look at 2. This 2 has exponent 2, and this 2 has exponent 1, so this one comes down. The same with 3. This 3 has exponent 1, and this one has exponent 2, so the one that has a smallest exponent has to come down. And now if we multiply 2 and 3, we get 6. And this is the greatest common factor. Now, let's try another example. Here we will find the greatest common factor of the numbers 60 and 72, and we will do this by prime factorization. We will start by finding the prime factorization of 60. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then, the prime factorization of 60 is 2 squared times 3 and times 5. Next, we will find the prime factorization for 72. 72 divided by 2 is 36. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then, the prime factorization for 72 is 2 cubed times 3 squared. And now, let's form the greatest common factor. For this, we have to see what factors are the same in both factorizations. These are 2 and 3. So, let's bring them down. We have 2 and we have 3. We don't bring down 5, because 5 is not in both factorizations. And now, let's talk about the exponents of these two numbers. 
each of them has to come down with the smallest exponent. We have 2 in both factorizations and the smallest exponent is 2. So let's bring down 2. Then we will have 2 squared. 3 is also in both factorizations and the smallest exponent is 1. This means that this 3 will have the exponent 1. Then from here 2 squared is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12. This is the greatest common factor and this means that 12 is the largest number that goes into both 60 and 72. Now let's see another example. Here we will find the greatest common factor of three numbers 300, 750 and 4725. Let's start with the prime factorization for 300. 300 divided by 2 is 150. 150 divided by 2 is 75. Now 75 we can't divide by 2 but we can divide it by 3. 75 divided by 3 is 25. And now we will divide 25 by 5 and the result will be 5. Then the prime factorization for 300 is 2 squared times 3 times 5 squared. Next we will find the prime factorization for 750. 750 divided by 2 is 375. 375 is divisible by 3 because if we add the digits 3, 7 and 5 we get 15 and 15 is divisible by 3 that means that 375 is divisible by 3. Then 375 divided by 3 is 125. Now 125 is not divisible by 3 anymore but it's divisible by 5 and 125 divided by 5 is 25. Then 25 divided by 5 is 5. And the prime factorization for 750 is 2 times 3 times 5 cubed. And now we will find the prime factorization for 4725. This number is not even, so we can't divide it by 2, but let's see if we can divide it by 3. 4 plus 7 is 11, 11 plus 2 is 13, and 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 is divisible by 3, and that means that 4725 is also divisible by 3. Then if we divide it by 3, we will get 1575. Now let's add the digits of this number to see if we can still divide by 3. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, 13 plus 5 is 18. And this means that we can still divide by 3. 1575 divided by 3 is 500. 25. Now can we still divide 525 by 3? Let's see. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3. That means that 525 is also divisible by 3. Then 525 divided by 3 is 175. Let's check if we can still divide by 3. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. Now 13 does not divide by 3. Then the next prime number we can divide by will be 5 and 175 divided by 5 is 35. Then 35 divided by 5 is 7. Then the prime factorization for 4725 is 3 cubed times 5 squared times 7. And now let's form the greatest common factor. For this we need the factors that are in all three factorizations and these are 3 
and 5. We can't choose 2 because 2 exists only in the first two factorizations, but it doesn't exist in the last factorization. Also, we can't choose 7 because 7 exists only in the last factorization. So, let's bring down 3 and 5, and now let's talk about the exponents. We need to bring down each factor with the smallest exponent. If we look at each 3, the smallest exponent is 1. So, down here we will have 3 with exponent 1. And if we look at 5, the smallest exponent is 2. So, we need to bring down exponent 2. So, let's write 5 squared. And now, 3 times 5 squared is 3 times 25. And this makes 75. So, 75 is the greatest common factor, and this is the largest number that goes into 300, 750, and 4725. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and thank you for watching.